Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are not familiar with who I am, my name is Ashley Bradley and I am a portrait photographer based in Pennsylvania. In this video, I am going to be taking you behind the scenes of a maternity session as well as showing you how to do a backlit image with atmosphere spray and gels. So stick around. Today I am going to be photographing a maternity session for another local business owner. We are going to be doing for her four looks this look back here and I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, we are going to be doing some tossed fabric, black fabric with a white backdrop for that high contrast and then we are also going to be doing uh, a more casual look with jeans and a top. And then the last look is the look I'm most excited for. We are going to be working with some gels, some atmosphere spray, and doing some fine art nude images. This is how I styled the backdrop for my first maternity look. So I used a uh, Mocha Savage Seamless, and then I grabbed some of the fabrics that I had, draped them. I have some tall grasses in vases, different colors and textures, and then some dried palm leaves. And we're going to be pairing that with a brown tulle gown. One of the looks I'm most excited for is incorporating a second strobe light behind the mother, or mother-to-be, and then um, adding some atmosphere spray in front of it with a yellow or orange gel. I'm undecided yet, but I think I'm going to be shooting it with the mocha backdrop just because the client had said that she likes more muted tones and I don't want it to be too bright for her. I'm so sorry guys I actually failed to notice that my camera had stopped recording during three of the different setups um, the one setup I couldn't really record anyway because she was nude so that that didn't matter that much but there was like two setups that I completely missed and I'm really sorry that I am NOT showing you how I created the final images Alright guys, since I failed to show the actual process with my client, I just wanted to go over how I created um, the gel effect with the atmosphere spray. So the way I lit it is I have two strobes going on. It is the Godox MS300. It plugs into the wall. Um, I have a very narrow studio, so I don't really need a battery powered. Um, 
strobe unless I'm going out, which I do have one for that reason. But I just like this because then I don't have to worry about charging the battery. It's just there. Anyway, so the way I had lit it for my client is I had my main strobe light on a 45 degree angle uh, pointed at my client. My client was sitting just about like right here. And then I had another strobe behind her. For the strobe behind her, I actually attached a gel to it. Now this is the cover for the modeling light. So I just had, uh, so I apologize guys. It's just this adapter on the front. I have no idea what it's called. It just completely missed my mind. Um, but that was on the front and then I had the desired gel color attached to that. Um, when I was ready to take the picture, my main strobe was set one stop lower than the back strobe. Um, for me, I just wanted the back strobe a higher power than the front strobe because the client had wanted images where it was more shadows in the front. Now, you could probably do where the front strobe is actually one stop higher than the back strobe and then the client would be more lit from the front and then the back would just have some color. Um, but to get the image that you're seeing, the front was one stop lower than the back. Um, then what I just did is I took some atmosphere spray that I bought on Amazon and then sprayed in front of the light, took some pictures. This kind of lingered a lot. I have a small studio, so we didn't need to use much of it. Um, but yeah, that is just how I created the image. One stop above the front, whatever gel color you want on it, and then the atmosphere spray. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you hopefully next Tuesday. Bye.